So there could be a lot going on in the family dynamic. I just seen jealous family members. That's the stuff that popped out. Okay, so they've watched you make major changes. So there could be some type of animosity or resentment towards you for making major changes in your life. And it's like certain family members could be in disbelief. These are people that always thought negative of you or they they never wanted to see you win. But then you have other people that are proud um, of who you, the changes that you've made, who you are as a person. But whoever these jealous family members are, these are people that are bitter they're bitter because of the changes that you've made these were unexpected changes we have you're protected so there was something that could have been done behind the scenes this could be to make you look bad this could be to stop you from making the changes when you started making these major changes something was supposed to prevent you or have you at a stalemate and you were protected from this Now, whoever this family member is, or it could be multiple, this is someone who does not want to work. This is someone who does not have a job. So this person could be someone who is accustomed to things being done for them. Um, they're very codependent. They don't stand out. They can't stand up and um, have their own stability. They're always needing a helping hand. Happiness and peace is here. So you could have walked away from someone as well, like a, a relationship. And once you were able to walk away from, this could be a toxic partner, you were able to have peace. You're happy in life. You're single. And this has allowed you to make a lot of changes that this could be you didn't expect to make, but other people. It's like you're doing something on your own and you're standing out. This also could be someone that's in a codependent relationship or marriage that's upset with the changes that you've made after you've walked away from someone who did not love you. They only wanted to use you. And this person could be someone who did not want to work. And it's like this person could be upset because they feel like you had the courage to do something they couldn't. So they're in a connection that they don't want to be in, a toxic um, partnership. And then I say they could be someone who does not want to work or the person that they're attached to does not want to work. Yeah. And maybe they were expecting for the person that they're attached to to take care of them and they ended up manifesting someone that's just like them. That person doesn't want to work either. And if they deal with low self-esteem, insecurities, they're low vibrational, they can't get rid of that person. It's like they manifested someone that mirrors the energy that they're in. I'm hearing abandonment issues. This is someone who is afraid of being by their self. They don't want to be alone. You having the confidence to make these changes and walk away from this person that does not serve your highest good. They didn't have your best interest. They only wanted to use you. You're at peace. You're happy. You're abundant. On your own. And you're standing out. You could be attracting a lot of attention, but you're just focused on yourself. This family member is jealous of this. And this could be someone who they could have teamed up with your ex to try to go against you. Whoever you walked away from, this is someone who was definitely in communication with this ex after you move forward.
And it's like they were hoping that you would go backwards instead of making these major changes. Because this is someone who does not want to see you happy. They don't want you to do something they feel like is better than what they're doing. It's an embarrassment for you to make these major changes and they are not. This could also be someone that um, they gossip a lot. And they like to gossip about what people have going on in their lives, in their relationships, in their households. But whatever they're going through, they don't want people to know. And if people do know different family members, different friends, they're not out gossiping about what that person is going through. And they know that. But this person could have gossiped about you in a negative way to people that they're attached to that you don't really deal with or talk to or communicate with. And now these people are seeing the changes that you've made. And it's embarrassment to whoever this jealous family member is. Yeah, they feel like you've been granted new opportunities. You're someone who's a, who is very appreciative to life. Because you have the four cups popping out in the reverse. It's like you've restored your emotions. You're not sitting around moping. You're not unhappy. They wanted, they expected you to be unhappy because you chose to be single and walk away from someone that only wanted to use you. And it's like, this isn't what, the, it's like they expected you to be unhappy. And this is what they made their self believe that you would be miserable because you were alone. This is someone who suffers from abandonment issues. And they were only going off of how they would feel. This is someone who does not have the confidence that you have. They don't share the same um, vision, the way that you view life. You're not someone that's needy and codependent. You appreciate yourself. We have the page of pentacles. And then you have the star. Yeah, this person have definitely watched you heal. They've sat back and watched your growth. And you're someone that has hope with the star card being here. This is what guides you through darkness. So any dark times that you go through, um, the average person would feel like, hey, I need this person. I need that person. You're the type of person that stands alone. You're never looking for a helping hand or looking for someone to pick you up when you're down. They view you as someone that is very strong. And this is just not the energy they expected for you to be in. It's like somebody misjudged you. Um, this is someone who never got the chance to or took out the time to get to know you for who you truly are, whether this is a family member or not. They thought they had figured you out. They knew who you were as a person. And whatever they did know about you, it intimidated them. So the things that they didn't like about you, it's like they made, con they this person made conclusions in their head of things about you that were not true and they believed them. Now, the, it's like now this person is sitting back, they've just sat back and watched they're very focused on your growth. Now, you could be a earth sign. You could be a water sign or air sign. Aquarius is here. Then we have the page of pentacles, which is earth sign. And then we have water sign. This is someone who also could have thought that after you walked away from someone, you would need them. But you're not codependent or needy. You're independent. So you don't come off as someone that needs this or need that. You do things on your own. And this is someone who could have gotten upset because 
they definitely expected for you to need them and they could have gossiped about this. Like now this person is going to need me for this or need me for that. And you rejected whatever that person was trying to offer you. Or if they were asking you, did you need help for this or that? You told them no. So it kind of ruined their plans. And they've just sat back and watched you. They've watched you heal. You could be inspiration to a lot of people as well with the star. People are inspired by your growth, your confidence. Yeah. This is someone who definitely lied. They also did not um, want... They. This is someone who wanted people to think that you lied about something. It's like your intuition was on point with the Queen of Cups about whoever this jealous family member is. And they could have gossiped about you, spoke negative about you to a lot of people. And these people started paying attention with the Page of Pentacles and the Star. And it's like they've watched you make these major changes. And this has been inspiration for these people that this family member lied to. Yeah, and now they're realizing that this family member was trying to cover up something about you to a swords. This family member also did not know how intuitive you were or you are. There's something that you found out that they didn't expect for you to find out. And they could have gotten scared and they thought that you were going to go and tell other people or say something and you just didn't. You started rejecting that person and just focusing on yourself. Healing from whatever it is that you've been through in life. And now they look, this person, they're embarrassed because whatever they did to try to make you out to be a liar, they didn't even have to do. You were protected from the lies. Yeah, you just chose to move forward. You have the Fool and the Four of Pentacles. And then we have the Empress. So it's like you've completely stepped in your power. You've evolved from the Queen of Cups to the Empress energy. And this is because you chose to pull your energy back and just move forward. I'm getting you started a whole new journey in life. And this is what you were supposed to do. You're happy. You're at peace. You're gaining abundance in life. Whatever was meant to create a downfall for you, you were protected. And it's like whoever this family member is, this is somebody who saw this as an opportunity to use you because they didn't, this is someone who does not want to work. So they felt like, Whatever you needed after walking away from someone that only wanted to use you, they could take that person's spot. They could make money off of you in any type of way for anything that you needed. And that just was not the case. You didn't need that person like they thought you needed them. You completely pull it back. So they could not make any money off of you or use you. This could be another reason why they were upset. This is someone who is intimidated because you're someone that's optimistic and that has, that has definitely helped you on your journey. Staying optimistic and having hope, not giving up on yourself. Not settling. And staying attached to people that does not serve your highest good. Yeah, you know your true potential, page of wands. And you're satisfied being by yourself. You're not needy, clingy, codependent. You don't have to have a lot of people around you. You don't have to get a lot of recognition from people. 
to feel good about yourself. It's because you know your worth and you love yourself. Yeah, this is self-satisfaction. You're emotionally fulfilled by yourself. You don't need anyone to fulfill your emotions. We have the Seven of Cups. And then the Queen of Pentacles. So there could be something that you started doing for work and they tried to create confusion around your job, um, the way that you make money or something like that. This is someone who thought that this confusion would stop your abundance. But it didn't. Yeah. We have the nine of ones and the will of fortune. You're someone that is very resilient. And you could be doing something that you're destined to do. You could have also found out about a journey that you're supposed to be on. This could be your spiritual path, spiritual journey. Yeah. And it's like your determination, your confidence. This has gotten you far. That's what that's all I keep hearing. The way that you view life. You're not the type of person that will just give up on yourself. But somebody definitely tried to create some type of confusion around money. But if you're destined to be abundant in this lifetime, this could not be stopped. This person trying to interfere with fate, with destiny, with the will of fortune being here. This is only going to result in a lot of negative karma. You're going to be protected. They're not. Now, if this seven of cups, this confusion was supposed to like make you need them. That didn't work. You're someone that is very smart with the Queen of Pentacles being here. So you think logically. You use your brain. You don't just jump into things without thinking or act without thinking. This is someone who did not expect for you to adapt to these major changes that you've made. They were trying to challenge you. At a time that they felt like you were vulnerable. But you chose to stay guarded. You chose to stand alone and continue to stay strong. No matter what confusion was going on at that time. This made you stronger. And more determined to adapt to the changes that you were making. Where your life was headed at that time. Gemini, you could be a Gemini. One of these people could be a Gemini, whoever this ex is and whoever this jealous family member is. They don't want to be responsible for themselves. A karmic soulmate or karmic partner. So I'm getting one of these people were a karmic partner. The other one was a karmic soulmate, whether it was a family member or ex. Both of these people were attached to you in a karmic cycle. The changes that you chose to make has helped you to close out this karmic cycle. So anything that happens after that, you're protected. The confusion that they created around you has caused them to be confused. A ex told lies on you. So you had an ex going around telling lies because they were heartbroken after you chose to um, move forward with your life. 
This is someone who could not use you anymore. And if you had a child or children with this person, this is someone who tried to use a child or children to keep you stuck. You have I've healed. So you've definitely healed from whatever whatever you've went through in life. Whatever was supposed to challenge you and keep you stuck. Keep you in a dark place in life. Now somebody feel like the truth was never supposed to get out. But you're someone that's mature. If you expose somebody and they weren't expecting it, they didn't expect for you to be mature about it. Because whoever the person is that you expose, this person is someone who is um, very low vibrational. So they like to gossip. Instead of going to a certain person and speaking the truth, they go behind their back and talk about them in a negative way. They're not confrontational. But you're someone that's mature. So you're able to have a mature conversation with someone without negativity. Yeah, so somebody could have definitely gotten upset because you exposed the truth. Yeah, you're someone that's very peaceful. So I'm getting this ex could be someone that you exposed. And they didn't expect for you to be mature about the situation after you exposed them. So they went around and they started spreading lies on you. And they could have got a lot of people in their ear like, hey, you should do this, you should do that. And they could have did something to try to have you stuck and they were using a child or children. This could be a legal situation. This could be the seven of cups. They tried to create confusion around your stability, who you are as a person. The queen of cups is definitely a mother figure. This is someone who is very nurturing. And this person is someone who is very like loving. They're very caring. But they're also someone who is um, very mature. So I'm getting this ex did not want people to know that you are already doing something on your own. You're very abundant on your own. You're not needy. You're not codependent. But you are taking care of your child or children on your own. And they didn't want people to think that you were stable enough on your own. You couldn't take care of yourself or your kids, but this person was very needy and codependent to you and they couldn't take care of their self on their own. They needed you for stability. They needed you to nurture them. And they were also accustomed to you being very generous. Yeah, until you chose to set healthy boundaries. These are boundaries that needed to be set. And then it's like this person thought the confusion was something you would never find out about. They didn't want you to think they had their hands in the confusion. This is someone that was hoping to make peace with you. Yeah. But you're someone that knows your worth. This is why you chose to stay guarded at this time that you were supposed to be confused. This confusion was supposed to make you go backwards. But it made you stand your ground. It made you adapt to the journey that you were getting on at that time. Where your life was headed at that time. You're definitely destined to do life with somebody other than whoever this karmic partner is. This could be someone you've already met. Right person, wrong time is here. We have Pisces. This person could be a Pisces. You could be a Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces. A jealous friend. So there was a jealous friend involved as well. This person could know about the person that you have a destined um, partnership with. Or this could be someone that you spoke to about this right person, wrong time energy. As I said, this person could be a Pisces or you could be a Pisces or one of these people could be a Pisces. Yeah, this jealous friend 
with somebody that was toxic. This person told lies on you. And it's because this person was jealous of the person that you're destined to, like, do life with. This could be someone you confided in at a time that you could have been vulnerable. After walking away from a cycle that needed to be closed out. You're walking into your north node. You're following your destiny. They were jealous about this. So, yeah. This is somebody you needed to set boundaries with as well. You could have definitely, with the nine of um, wands being here, you could have cut off a lot of different people. Especially if you were in a toxic karmic cycle and you did not know anything about toxic karmic cycles. You're finding out about your divine destiny. So you had to kind of like be guarded towards everybody and just focus on yourself. People didn't like this. So there's a lot of people that were behind the scenes jealous, not just this family member, not just this, this uh, friend, this toxic friend. You have an ex here, a jealous family member, and a toxic friend. All of these people were heartbroken because of the changes that you chose to make at that time. And you chose to adapt to these changes. It wasn't just for pretend. It wasn't just you saying you're going to do this. You're going to do that. You started standing on whatever it is that you were doing. You started setting boundaries where they needed to be set. And if these are people that did not respect these healthy boundaries. That was confirmation that you were making the right decision. You have awakening, yeah. You had definitely went through an awakening at this time. You have a love bombing. So yeah, it's like somebody thought they were going, this ex thought they were going to be able to love bomb you after com creating confusion around you. And they would get you to come back toward them or reunite with them, get back together with them, not knowing that you're woke. Yeah, a major lesson. This ex is being taught a major lesson. Anybody that was trying to create confusion around you, they're being taught a major lesson. And it's like they're teaching their self. With the actions that they took when it came to you making major changes in your life. Now, whoever this right person, wrong time energy is, this is definitely your person. They're wondering, do you remember the first time you and them met? This is someone who have been doing a lot of reflecting. And this could also be changes that they're making at this time. They could have started changing at the time that you started changing. They're definitely woke. This is someone who is thinking about you as well. Virgo is here. You could be a Virgo. One of these people could be a Virgo. And then you have Leo. Leo. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. Now, somebody got angry when they found out you were aware of something. A setup got exposed. So one of these people tried to set you up and they got angry when they found out you were aware. This could be what you exposed. Or you could have exposed somebody for trying to set up another person. And they got behind the scenes trying to create confusion around your name. They didn't want you to be viewed as someone that was speaking the truth. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who speaks the truth. But this person is also very honest, very loyal. So it's hard for people to see that person as a liar. And whoever you expose the truth to, as I say, that person viewed you as someone that's very mature. You don't have any reason to lie. They knew you were speaking the truth and truth and somebody got afraid. They got scared. Whether it was a jealous family member, a friend, or this ex. One of these people got scared. They panicked and they tried to confuse whoever you spoke the truth to. 
And that confusion spoke volumes to whoever the person is that you expose. Because they knew you were speaking the truth and this person or certain people were trying to like cover it up with a lie. They were trying to distract them with a lie after you exposed the truth. And if you expose the truth to someone that one of these people were behind the scenes gossiping um, about you two, they started looking at that person different because they felt like if you weren't speaking the truth, why are they doing all of this? Like, why are they trying their hardest to make you out to be a liar? Because normally if things are being said about you, they don't apply to you. It does not fit your character. You know it isn't true. You're not going to put any energy into it. It's like somebody got behind the scenes and actually tried to prove that you lied. And it's like if this, if this ex was out to prove that you lied, they were in cahoots with a jealous friend and a jealous family member. It's like they all teamed up together to make you out to be a liar. And these are people that you will least expect will team up with this ex. But all of these people were mad at the same time because you had walked away and pulled your energy back. So it wasn't hard for them to team up together. These are low vibrational, toxic, karmic soulmates that you were supposed to walk away from. Whatever you expose, you were, you were supposed to expose yeah queen rising it's like you've completely stepped into your power and a lot of people look up to you they respect you unbothered is here yeah it's like whoever the person is that they were trying to prove that you were lying to this person feels like none of these things bother you they respect you even more now. It's like they already respected you, but they respect you even more because you didn't let this bother you. You kept doing whatever it is that you were doing at that time. And that was focusing on you. Moving forward on your journey. And this is a whole new journey. Yeah, haunted. Haunted. Somebody is being haunted by the things that they did in the past. These are people that thought that they were going to inflict some type of trauma onto you. But whatever they did to you with haunted being here, side effects is on here. Trauma is on this card as well. They were being hit with the side effects. So whatever they felt like was going to affect you, especially if this was this ex and they were trying to use a child or children, it affected them too. All of these tactics that were used to scare you came back to haunt that person immediately after they did whatever they did to confuse you. You were protected. This is why this didn't bother you. Yeah, you have fake smiles popping out in the reverse. All of these people were fake. These are people that did not have your best interest at heart and they did not want to see you win. These were fake friends, fake family members, and a fake toxic partner that you were attached to. That person was showing you fake love. They wanted you to believe in things that were not true just so they can keep using you. And these other people too. Using your energy. Using you physically. For whatever it is they felt like they can get out of you. We have dirty offer. Wow. These are people that didn't have anything to offer you. 
You could have brought a lot to the table. You could have offered these people a lot, but they just couldn't give you the same in return. You have a girl fight. So there's somebody that was definitely competing with you. This could be the, whoever this jealous friend is or this jealous um, family member. Or this could be somebody else. Yeah, this could be a fourth person. It's like somebody was competing with you. Cyber bully. So this could be someone that you've never met before, but this person could have found out about you online. They saw you on social media and they started competing with you. Yeah, this is someone who have been definitely like watching you, stalking you, spying on you. Through social media. Wow. So this is someone who is definitely a low vibrational energy as well. This is someone who is upset because they don't offer whatever it is that you're offering to people. Um, I'm getting, you're offering inspiration. You're giving people hope with the energy that you're in. And you could be doing something online. This person is upset. It's like they're trying to trace something. This card is somebody literally trying to trace over something that someone else did. And if they were trying to secretly compete with you, they couldn't. They can't duplicate you. If they were trying to copy your work, if this is an online business, they couldn't copy it. It's not as good as your work. It's like somebody tried to copy your work and present it as if it's their own and they couldn't get it right. This is sad. We have unfazed and it's like whatever they were trying to do, you weren't bothered. You didn't allow it to bother you. It didn't phase you. Somebody was in competition and at war with their self. And this could be what they're realizing. Other people are realizing that this person is someone that is um, not what they've been, you know, trying to get people to believe about them. It's like people are seeing their true colors. They can they can completely see that this person have been competing with you, copying um whatever it is that you're doing. We have given money. So this person could have been trying to get money from someone, or they could have been paying people to try to bully you online. If this is a business, they were paying people to make negative comments about your business. Um, they were paying people to buy products from you if you're selling different things online. Um, and this was so they could copy it. It's like somebody wants to be you. Then you have hurt, sad. Somebody's upset. They're crying. Okay, so this is somebody who thought they were going to marry somebody for money. And whoever the person is that you're destined to partner up with, this is your counterpart. You're this queen rising. This is your person. These are counterparts in this deck. Whoever the person is that was attached to your person, this person was secretly in competition with you. This is definitely someone you don't know. And it's because whoever your person is, they decided to walk away from this energy that thought that they were going to get your person to marry them and they needed your person for stability. So they've been secretly at war with you, watching you, stalking you to try to compare and compete with you to get your person's attention. This is someone who allowed their ego to get in the way of the connection that they shared with your person. This was definitely someone that they were in a toxic karmic cycle with. And they thought they had your person hooked. They thought they had your person stuck. Once they realized that wasn't the case, this person went through an ego death. So whoever they were pretending to be, it could no longer work. And they felt like secretly competing with you, being at war with you, copying everything you do, it will get your person to come back toward them. 
that didn't work and they're upset. This person is realizing there was nothing that they could do to get your person to move backwards instead of moving forward. Yeah, you have jackpot. Somebody was willing to do anything for money and they were willing to copy you, do whatever it is that you were doing. It's like somebody wanted someone's inheritance. You have a romantic love affair. So yeah, they were just attached to your person for money. And they could have been sleeping with your person while attached to someone else. And maybe your person found out and they were no longer interested in this person. They could have had your person in a third party. And they thought that they were they hit the jackpot with your person. And they would leave whoever the person is that they were in a relationship with behind. But your person was no longer interested in them. They didn't view them as someone that they wanted to marry. This is someone who could have several fake accounts. This is someone who have been constantly looking you up ever since your person chose to move forward. Now, this person could be someone who has found out who your person is to you and this is why they're so obsessed. Or they knew in the past. They knew in the past and they were plotting to get your person to marry them and they felt like they would be able to steal your inheritance. Things that you're destined to do with your person, destined to have with your person and it backfired. You were protected from this. Your person moved on from whoever this person is. Yeah, somebody got desperate. So it's four different people here. Three different people that you were attached to that are bitter. They're upset because you made these major changes that they didn't expect for you to make. These are people that thought they figured you out. They thought they outsmarted you. They would always be able to confuse you. But it seems as if you've outsmarted them with the actions that you chose to take at this time. And you've adapted to these changes. It wasn't a front. It wasn't things that you were just saying. You took action. And you stood on that. And whoever the person is that is attached or was attached to your person, they're upset because whatever it is that you were doing at that time, it was inspiring your person if you knew it or not. They were watching you. And if this is a connection where you're destined to be with a certain person, whatever you choose to do in a positive way, it's going to cause them to do a lot of reflecting. It's going to want them um, to make positive changes in their life because you and them share a journey together. This person did not know that. This is someone who thought that the actions that they were taking behind the scenes to be at war with you, secretly compete with you, it would keep this person away from you. But if they were away from you, you're in separation from this person, it's because of the major changes that you were making and major changes that they were making at that time. So a separation needed to take place in order for you and them to come back together. These are people that have wasted a lot of time. Everything that they tried to do, you were protected from. I'm always checking on you. So this is your person. They're definitely watching you. As I say, the actions that you took, the energy that you're in, it has inspired them. And they can't get you off of their mind. You have a lot of people trying to cover up what they did behind the scenes. They don't want people to know that they lied on you. They were spreading a lot of negative rumors about you.
Now, whoever your person is, they knew a lot of people were moving funny from the beginning, but they did, they just didn't understand why. They've sat back and put everything together while being in separation from you. Your person is also someone who wanted you to chase them in the past. So this could be how the separation started or took place. They were in a very immature energy. They weren't aware of a toxic karmic cycle that they needed to close out. And um, they wanted you to chase them. They know this is something that was very immature, very childish. And they've changed. Yeah. I'm getting after they did this. They couldn't get you off of their mind. They could not stop thinking about you. They were in regret for how they treated you. Because they were in an energy where they treated everybody that they were attached to um, or they wanted attention from this way. But when it came to you, them being unaware who you are to them, they could have went through some instant karma. And they were constantly being reminded of you. Yeah. I will give you all of my heart for yours. So this is someone who definitely has changed. Um, they want you to know they dealt with low self-esteem and insecurities. They acted so immature and they want to apologize. This is someone who have matured. They've grown up since the last time you've seen them. Yeah, and you're on their mind all day. You make this person's heart smile. I was in a karmic cycle still sleep. So at this time, they wanted you to chase them. They were in a karmic cycle still sleep. They didn't know anything about the destiny that they share with you. And they've been praying to God for this connection. So now that they know, um, or now that they've matured, they could also know that you and them share a destined path. Because it says, I was in a karmic cycle still sleep. I've been praying to God for this connection. So they could know that you and them have a destined path, a destined partnership. They've gained knowledge of this. And they're wanting to give you all of them for all of you. They want to wake up next to you in the morning. So this is someone who is picturing or daydreaming. This could be also dreaming about having a home with you, doing life with you. I should have listened to you. So there was something that you said and they're wishing they would have listened to you. I never meant to hurt you. And they miss you. This is someone who do not want to run from the connection that you and them share anymore. They're realizing they were trapped in a karmic lesson at the time that they acted so immature. And they felt like you were too good for them. So they messed it up in the past. But that mistake helped them to do some self-reflecting. So they could change the way that, change the um, energy that they were in. This is someone who definitely wants to talk. They want to talk to you. They want to converse with you. This is someone who wants to sit down and just have a mature conversation with you. They want to clear the air. I don't want to be the reason you cry. So this is someone who does not want to hurt you. And they don't want you to think that they intentionally tried to hurt you in the past with the actions that they took. 
they view you as someone that is very amazing in their life. They want you to enjoy your life. So this is someone who was hoping that you didn't allow whatever they did in the past to affect you. If this is something that hurt you, you've healed from this. And they could have held back with communicating with you um, not only because they were making the changes in their life, but they wanted you to enjoy your life. They felt like they would hurt you again. So they could have been in fear of hurting you. And this is why you haven't heard from them. And that alone has helped them to make the changes that they've made. Do a lot of reflecting and changing the energy that they had been in. They want to make it up to you. Then we have, can you please forgive me? Yeah, so this is someone who definitely wants to see you again. Will I see you again? This is on their mind. This is what they've been thinking about. So I'm going to close this reading out with some of these confessions from your person. Whoever these other people are, they're realizing that whatever they were doing to confuse you, confuse other people about you, it was a waste of time. They've embarrassed themselves trying to confuse people about you or create some type of chaos around you. You have best self. I am working really hard to level up for you and meet you as your equal, your mirror. I know we will always grow together, but I want you to be proud of who I am today. So this person, your person is working hard to be their best self for you. They want to match your energy. They want to meet you halfway. They want to meet you, match you as your equal. You mean the world to your person. You have weight. I haven't wanted to admit to myself how I really feel about you. It means stepping out of my comfort zone. It's time. I know it's taken me a while. I do know what you need and I want to do this right. Please wait for me. I will do things right between us when I come forward to you. So yeah, they're definitely planning to come toward you, reach out to you, initiate contact with you. This is someone who wants to make things right from the actions that they took in the past. And you have protected. I will always protect you, even if we are together or not. My higher self is always with you. I will always protect you in the love that we share. I will keep boundaries around my heart that only you can cross. So this is someone who is definitely not interested in anyone else. They view you as their world. You mean the world to them. You've definitely helped them to heal. You and your person have both been healing at this time that um, you have not talked to them. You have not been in communication with them. Everything revolves around you. I keep you in my mind when I'm making decisions and I include you in all of my plans. Every action, every dream, I love doing life with you. You mean so much to me without you, I feel like nothing. So at this time that they were in a very immature energy, they didn't take life serious. They didn't feel like they were worth anything. They weren't seeing their worth. But you came in and you've helped them to see their worth. You've helped them to want more out of life. You've helped them to heal things they never thought they would be able to heal. This is why you mean so much to them. And this is the type of connection that you and them share. You've always made your person feel this way. They've always made you feel the same way. They're your mirror. You're their mirror. And this could be why they felt like they weren't good enough for you in the past because you were expecting a lot more from your person. You weren't expecting for them to be 
childish or immature or treat you the way that they treated you. That caught you off guard, but it made you stand your ground. And this has helped them to make drastic changes in their life. Nobody was expecting for you or your person to make these changes. Whoever this energy is that they were attached to didn't expect it. None of the people that you walked away from, they didn't expect it. All of these people are confused after trying to create confusion around you. 